we've seen great technology working with big data. I love that stuff. However, um, there's also a big part of the market that falls through the cracks if we only focus on technology and data. And that is why we need Solar Power Report. I'm Matthias, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Solar Power Report, and let me ask you a question. Where do you go if you want to buy a fridge? Consumer Reports. Where do you go if you want to buy a car? You go to admins.com. But where do you go if you want to go solar? Well, as you, if you research solar online right now, you end up at a lead generating service or at a company website. And neither of them do a very good job at informing the customers. And it shows. 47 million people in the US, US homeowners, uh, are planning on going solar, or at least interested in solar. However, only about 14% of those who start the research, research process are following through. Or to put it the other way around, 86% of those who start looking into solar opt out right now. So why is that? It's also, oh, by the way, it's also reflected in the very high customer acquisition costs. I mean, that's a problem that the industry has been working on um, for quite a while now. However, customer acquisition costs are still going up. They're not going down. We see here cents per watt, uh, 2013 for Solar City was 45 cents. Uh, right now, fourth quarter is 57 cents. So why is that? We we went out the building, we interviewed a lot of people who were interested in solar, and we identified three major pain points for them. The first pain point is they have a hard time finding a trusted source of information. The second big pain point is they have a hard time finding an installer that they trust. And finally, when they have been through that process and they have the bits, they have a hard time comparing these bits, apples to apples. So what's needed is a resource that is trustworthy, transparent, educational, and social. So what's needed is Solar Power Report. This is what we built uh, in the Top Coder process. It's a web platform that helps um, people who want to go solar through the whole process. We have editorial content like Solar Basics and Solar News. Uh, we offer a solar forum where people who already went solar can talk about their experience to people who are planning on doing this. We have an installer directory where you can find your installer next to you. Uh, we will offer things like installer rating and installer reviews. And we have something special which is our solar tools. So the first tool we built is a solar lease tool that allows you to compare your bids actually apples to apples. I'll demonstrate this quickly. So um, we rate them, as you can see here. You've put in the numbers uh, from your installer. This is just a test. So um, it's a 20 cents per kilowatt hour electricity rate, uh, annual, annual generation of maybe 10,000 kilowatt hours. You lease um, annual payment $1,000. Hopefully you don't have an escalator, zero down payment, 20 years, um, and you add this bit, and that's ranked by your financial preference. We also show you the assumptions. We have normalized everything, like electricity escalator to 3%, but now if you want to, you can also run scenarios. Say, how much do I save if, I, if the escalator is 6% or uh, only 2%? And we have more, which is, um, we help you finding your way through the legal aspect of solar leases. The way we do it is we ask you five questions. So for example, are you going to sell your house anytime soon? Are you uh, concerned of, about your roof warranty? You fill this out and then you are even able to rank your preferences. So if you're ex especially worried about your roof warranty, uh, you move it up and then we apply it to this ranking and the ranking might change according to your legal preferences. So nobody does this out there right now, uh, particularly not our competition, which typically is lead generating services, but they all suffer from the same flaw, which is basically, I call it no education without your zip code. So uh, you're dealing your data uh, in order to get some information. 
They are intransparent in how they arrive at their re recommendations and which installers they are actually recommending. Uh, and they have a suspicious business model because what is suspicious about it? Lead generation has the problem that if you only do lead generation, you only make money if you convince somebody to do it. That is why we have a different business model, which is we are monetizing the eyeballs on our side. So let's have a look at it. The major revenue stream is ad revenue. That's a true and proven model that still works in uh, niche markets with highly targeted customers. Um, we have two other revenue models uh, or revenue streams that add to it. The one is syndication to utilities. So we are syndicating our content to utilities. And at some point, we might do some lead generation but differently by openly telling our users what we are doing and giving them the chance to opt out if they don't like it. So how do we grow? Well, while we were doing our research, we ran into a lot of nonprofits who told us, well, we have all these members who are interested in solar. However, we don't know where to point them to because we cannot point them to a lead generation service and we cannot point them to a company website. Well, we solved this problem. They can point to us, and we are actually negotiating with one of the biggest environmental nonprofits in the US right now uh, for our first partnership agreement. So they are not only getting us traffic, but they are also giving us an endorsement. And there are many more nonprofits who are interested in working with us. Um, how does that translate into um, how we grow? We expect through main drivers, partnership traffic, and wire growth uh, to grow uh, within the first year to about 200,000 unique visitors. Um, within two years, about half a million. Uh, we expect to be uh, cash flow positive within 10, 10 months and have the first ad revenue coming in. It's ad sponsorship at that point um, at month six. So who is the team behind Solar Power Report? Well, we are content specialists, we are solar market experts, and we've been working together as a team for more than five years. Um, there's Chris Warren, who was editor-in-chief at Photon Magazine in the US. There's my co-founder, Melissa, a senior reporter at um, Photon, and also has a background as financial analyst. And that would be me. I was managing editor at Photon Magazine before we started Solar Power Report. We also have a pretty high profile um, board of advisors. Um, there's Jeremy Anvil, uh, who is ex-CEO of admins.com, which we fit, uh, think fit very well because they have a pretty similar business model to our, ours. Uh, Michael Callahan, chief legal advisor, LinkedIn, Hugh Byrne, uh, Greenbiz, and John Powers. Hi, John, he's there somewhere. Uh, CEO of Extensible Energy. So next time somebody asks you, where should I go if I want to go solar? Solar Power Report, your independent guide to solar. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Questions? Okay. Question. Um, so one of the base, the ways to build business off of uh, ad revenues is to get customers to come back, launch the app, or go back to the website again. Right. But in your case, I get into the website, I do some stuff, I get my solar. If it I if it were so me. easy, if it were so easy, uh, the statistic shows that. Um, the process from the first interest to actually buying right now takes nine months. We heard six months, that is like when you're already committed to, um, to buying. So the process takes nine months. That is the one thing. The other thing is once you have the system on your roof, you're not necessarily done because you have maintenance issues, potentially. You have questions about, does it perform properly? What do I do if it doesn't perform properly? So that's still questions we are answering. And not only that, um, that is something that our forum is destined to do. Like I'm, you hear it from my accent, I'm German, so I know the German market pretty well. In Germany, there's a forum existing that has like 85,000 users who do nothing else but talking about sol their solar systems and um, how they can make it perform better, how they should maintain it, and these kind of things. So um, 
in our calculations, we say within a nine month period, people will come back and check for, for different things because they go down the, the purchasing process. That's kind of what we, what we think. And then uh, there will be a, a fair amount of people who come back uh, later for these other issues. Okay, thank you. Um, you did a really good job of giving us your plan. You did a good, you've clearly got excellent advisors. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that there's a difference between um, a need for something and a market for something. Right. So you've given me a glimpse of about uh, two to three to four hundred thousand dollars of initial potential revenue that you looks like you've captured. I want to see where the progression is towards a proper business and Edmunds quality business. Do you want to pull up our financial slides, which should be the next, I think, or one more? Um, so. The way we envision it is um, we can grow into like about a $1.2 million uh, company within three years. Um, what comes after that also depends on whether we widen our scope, which we are planning. So we, we call that like green home reports because solar is only the first thing. Many people who are interested in solar are interested in storage, are interested in um, electric vehicles. And then you start getting to the point, okay, if I have a heat pump, what kind of a solar system do I have? What kind of a storage do I need? These are all complicated financial and technical decisions, and we are experts in this, and we can help you. I think the, the photon background that you guys have is great since you're building an ad business. I'm curious, um, from that experience, what is sort of one key uh, thing you're gonna try to avoid as you build this business? I think that the most important thing what we have to show is editorial integrity. There are people who might have concerns about uh, if you have ads on your site, can you be independent? The, the way we address it, the one way we address it is kind of we do one step removed, meaning we don't put Solar City on there because then you look like you're on a boat with Solar City. What is acceptable in our eyes is um, putting ads for equipment manufacturer on there because they're one step removed. They're not directly dealing with the customer. The other thing we deal with it is be transparent. So there's a comment function uh, on the site. There's a forum. So if, if people ever think, oh, you like, like SMA way too much and you hate Enphase, then they call us out on it and we have to react to it because that is the, the core value that we have, this trust. If we lose that, we have nothing. So that is the danger and I think we have the experience to address it. Thanks. All right, uh, no more questions. So Too bad, thank you. <laughs>